Okay, so forget Lay, forget Red Velvet, forget everybody else that I was probably going to post today. Keenan comes first. And as people continue to be upset about the wrong things, I will be here to drag, and half of YouTube will probably be here to drag as well. Anyway, what's going on, you guys? Um, so, I am here to look at the music video for Good Life by Keenan Lonsdale. If you don't know who Keenan is, you'll know when you see him, when you see his face. If you see, if you watch, um, you know, the CW's Flash series, he actually portrays Kid Flash. Um, a lot of people don't know is he's also a singer and dancer, so he's a triple threat. Um, one of very few triple threats that are actually talented in all areas. Um, so, yeah. He has a channel on YouTube, uh, it's under his name, Keenan Lonsdale, and he also, he's like done a lot of covers and stuff, and he also has a few original songs on there as well. So I guess he's, you know, trying to put his music out there a little bit more, um, and then with, you know, all the success that The Flash show has gotten, you know, he's definitely, you know, made a name for himself a little bit more, so more people are paying him more attention, uh, versus before where he only just got like, um, little roles here and there and then also was on that dance academy show that nobody really cared about on Teenic. I mean it is what it is. Um, I didn't even, I never watched that show so I didn't know him from there. I just knew him from The Flash. Um, actually I knew him a little bit before The Flash because I came across one of his videos before but I really didn't pay it much attention then. Um, but anyway yeah I've listened to Good Life and it would usually be a song that I'm not into because like that that kind of style of music I'm not really keen on like I'm not crazy about it uh, but he made it work and I fell in love with it completely like I play it in my car like every day on the way to work like every time I'm in my car that song has to be played at least one time um, so I like the song it's simple but it's good and it has a good message so anyway let's get into this video Entre due una. I just know what this video is going to have in it. Already. Okay, already I see like a llama or something. His style is so... Free. I already know what this is. They're gonna be looking like a whole bunch of hipsters out here just doing whatever. I saw that coming too, the purple hair. Oh, was that um Candace? Why is he humping the air? That looks like Candace, who plays Iris. I could be wrong. She's wearing sunglasses, so I can't really tell. This is random. Is that an alpaca? It's, al it's an alpaca. It's not a llama. I think it's an alpaca. Oh, well, that's so weird. <laughs> this is so trippy, but at the same time, I like it. Nothing matches. <laughs> That's exactly what I expect. Has a tie-dye shirt on with like a flower print design cardigan. <laughs> you 
just like sprinkling dust everywhere. Oh, yes. Oh. That's so cute. I like that. It's good. Okay. All right. Okay. And the guy is still sprinkling the dust everywhere. Uh, <laughs> um, I liked it. I mean, I definitely did like it. There were a lot, lots of like hints of, uh, you know, the support of Pride and the LGBT community in it. Because if you know anything about him, uh, it recently came out. So, um, there's like hints of that in there, you know, you see the rainbow flag and everything, which shows his support. And of course, everybody else in the video who supported him throughout that. Um, and, you know, it, it's really sad. Um, I'm going to get on this a little bit later. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the song. Um, again, I don't really have much to say about the song because there, there's not that much to it. <clears throat> it's a kind of a simple beat, um, simple chord in it. Like, you know, it, it's, it's simple, but... The simplicity of it is what makes it so good, in my opinion, because you don't always need like a whole bunch of extra stuff going on. Um, and the song itself is literally about having, you know, living for the simpler things in life, not really caring about all the material objects that you can obtain, cars and money. He's like, you know, so what? It doesn't matter. You know, all we really want in life is to be accepted and to be loved and, you know, to, to have clarity. So I feel like the song itself, you know, the music doesn't need to be all, um, all that complex um, when the song, the lyrics are literally about being simple. And the message of the song is a lot more important than the musical content as, you know, as far as the instruments go. So I feel like, you know, he hit the mark with this. He hit the mark and it did what it needed to do. So many different people can relate to this kind of a, a song um, because everybody, you know, at one point has fallen in love. Everybody at one point has um, sacrificed things for other people. Everybody at some point has felt like they probably didn't belong or they were feeling oppressed in some kind of way. Um, or at least, you know, especially minorities have. Um, I'm not going to completely say everybody, but at, at some point, everybody has probably been able to relate to the song in some kind of way. So, it's a good song. It's a good song to have. And, and he does a good job of, of really just throwing caution to the wind. Like, he just doesn't care about what he looks like. He doesn't care about what he's doing and and how anybody like what anybody else thinks about him which is the reason why he's like one of the few celebrities that i follow on social media and the reason why i listen to his music because i'm not crazy about all actors who can sing sort of situation unless it's like you know a kiki palmer or something but he's one such artist that i actually respect enough to give him this chance and really listen to his music and I'm liking what I'm hearing so far. I've listened to I think about two I think two of his songs and like a few of his covers. You know he has a, he has a good voice. He has a good voice. This song doesn't really um, showcase what he can do vocally, um, but there are other songs and he has a good tone. You know he doesn't really go too crazy with any like runs or anything, but it's not necessary when you actually have a good tone to your voice. Very soothing, very calm, smooth tone that I really like about like mo like that I really look for in um, in an artist like him, you know? But again, I love the song. I like the video. I mean, the video is like, it was kind of trippy and then there was like, kind of like some random things going on as well, but it was literally just him having fun um, and just being himself 100%. And that is something that I can really stand behind. We're all striving to find ourselves uh, and, and be our complete selves. It's cool that he's doing that in this video to show us like it, there's nothing wrong with being you and, and you don't have to hide anything from anybody. Um, which leads me into this. Um, I've watched a couple of interviews over the past few months with him in it and, and ever since, you know, the whole coming out thing. It seems that people are still, I mean, and we know that people are still completely ignorant about, you know, uh, the LGBT community and everything. We, we know that people are, go, like, are still, like, crazy about it, and, and they really just are 
really disrespectful and and hateful behind it. You should see how many videos, you know, all of his interviews, there's at least like five or six people calling him a faggot. There are like a whole bunch of people saying, oh, so Kid Flash is gay now? And I'm like, no, that's just the character he portrays. The character that he portrays is hasn't been shown to have any types of bisexuality or anything. But that's neither here nor there. It has nothing to do with the actor. But people can't seem to really wrap their heads around the fact that just because somebody um, is gay in real life doesn't mean that their character is also gay. But that doesn't even matter. Even if he was, even if they decided to go that way and make it fly, it wouldn't really matter. They just did it with Iceman in the comics. So I feel like they it doesn't really matter what they do as long as the character is still the character that everybody loves. You know, th his personality will remain the same. You know, what he can do still remains the same. That's just one aspect of the character that doesn't even really matter. Like, it doesn't really matter. But until people really get that concept, we're never going to be really be able to move on. And there's still going to be a whole lot of um, people in the LGBT community who are committing suicide, who are getting kicked out of their homes and remain on the streets and stuff, um, homeless and, and penniless. And it's, it's sad that people don't have that kind of humanity in them to really, you know, say, oh, this is a person, this is a human being, why am I treating him like this? Why am I treating her like this? You know, it doesn't make any sense. But this video, this video is good for highlighting the fact that it doesn't matter what people think of you, you can still, you know, you, you can do whatever you want to do to make yourself happy. I mean, as long as it doesn't harm anybody else, obviously. Um, and also, it doesn't matter what you have, and a lot of people get really so enveloped in all of this celebrity culture and, and, and Hollywood culture where, you know, everybody's flaunting their, their stacks on Instagram and everybody is flaunting their cars and their houses and whatever they have. Um, when none of that stuff is going to matter, once you're dead, I mean, the, mo the major thing that you're going to look back on is, did I live a fulfilling life? Did I fall in love? Did I find love? Did I... Did I, you know, surround myself with people who were good for me? Or did I completely surround myself with the wrong crowd? You know, am I living to my fullest potential? Even with all of the cars and the money and stuff, have I lived a fulfilling life for myself? Am I completely happy in my space? That's what this song is really about. And I hope that people actually check it out. Um, for themselves, listen to the song, get the song. It's on iTunes, and you can also listen to it on YouTube if you're not like really a fan or if you're not really sure that you want to buy it. You know, he has the song on YouTube that you can stream, and it might be on Spotify. I'm not sure if it's on Spotify, um, but definitely check it out. And also, um, if you have never seen the Flash show, definitely check out the Flash show. That like all of the seasons up until the uh, season um, up until season three are on Netflix to stream. And also you can check out the CW website, CWTV.com. You can check that out uh, for the uh, recent episode, which just came out this week. Um, I think it's, we're in season four now, so that's episode one, season four. Um, check it out because the show is actually really good. I like it, I liked it a lot. I don't know, I feel like, <laughs> this is gonna sound weird. I feel like, I would want to collaborate with him. If I ever got the chance to meet him, I feel like I would want to collaborate with him simply because, well not simply because, but mostly because um, our style, like I feel like our styles would complement one another in, in a kind of a unique way. I don't know. I don't know. And I feel like he could definitely go like smooth R&B and I could definitely do this style too. And I know he has other like songs with um, from other genres, um, other styles, and he doesn't have like just one, you know, he doesn't he doesn't conform to just one style of music, and that's something that I can definitely relate to because, guys, when this EP when I drop this EP, every song is probably going to sound a little bit different. Like one song to the next one will probably not sound the same. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that out there. Um, and so I can relate to, you know, not conforming to a specific style. And I feel like the two of us together would actually be a good collaboration. And I feel like he could come up with some pretty cool artistic things like for a, for like a music video. And yeah, 
I'm gonna, throw, I'm gonna just throw that into the universe. I'm gonna throw that onto the universe, and we'll see what happens. If eventually I get a record deal, or I, you know, I come into some some unknown fame somewhere, I'm definitely going to see about. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see about that. I, I feel like I would really want to collaborate. Yeah, so let's let's do that. Um, at him. <laughs> Go ahead if you follow Kina on, t on Twitter, definitely add him and, and see um, and see what he says. That'll be interesting. Anyway, I hope everybody has a great day. Take care.